Hello and welcome back. Now, once you've mastered the delights of short multiplication, which is multiplying a number by a single digit number, it's time to move on and learn how to do long multiplication, which is quite similar to short multiplication, but hey, guess what, it's longer. It is important you know how to do short multiplication because long multiplication is essentially doing short multiplication over and over again. So make sure you've seen my video on that and know how to do it. Right, let's just get cracking straight away. So long multiplication works like this. I'm going to do something like 365, which would be useful if you thought to yourself, well, 365 days. Let's think to ourselves, I want to work out how many hours in a year. So there are 365 days in a year and there are 24 hours in a day. So I want to multiply those together and that will make it long multiplication because it's double digits here. I can also do it with treble digits and that's as many as I want. It just takes me longer to do. So first thing as always is let's set it out correctly. I'm going to do 365 here multiplying and I'm going to do it by 24. Now this bit's important. When I do my lines I need to leave enough space for two lines. Now setting out long multiplication, you need to be quite neat doing this, so I'm obviously going to struggle with it, but I will do my best. The first bit is exactly the same as short multiplication. I'm going to do 365 times 4. 4 fives are 20. And let's carry the 2 over here, or the 20. 4 sixties is 240. Add that 20. Is 260, so I'll put the 60 in here. I'll carry that 200 over. And I'm going to do 4 times 300, 1200. Add that 200 is 1400. So that is exactly the same. Now this is the key part. I'm now going to multiply by this 20. Now to save myself some time, instead of having to go 5 times 20 each time, I'm going to pretend that is a 2. I'm going to use a green here because this is the important bit. Before I go any further, I need to put a zero in here. And that is important, okay? That is the zero, and I'm going to call that, it's got a name, it's the place value holder. Because that's going to make sure that every time I multiply this line by two, having that zero there automatically means I'm going to be multiplying it by 20. You must put that zero in there each time you move on and start multiplying by the tens. So I'm now going to do five twos, which are 10. Let's put my zero in here, carry my 10 over, put too many pens in my hand. And I'm then going to do six twos, which is 12. Add that one is 13, carry the one over. I'll then do three twos are six, add that one, which is seven. And I've got the last bit I need to do to get my answer is simply to add these two rows because this row is 365 times four and this row is 365 by 20. Add them up, zero and zero equals zero. Six add zero equals six, and we've got zero then. Four add three equals seven. Seven add one equals eight. And that is my answer. All right, I'm going to do another one for you. So let's just choose a random number. Let's do 283 times 35. So let's set it out correctly. 283 multiplied by 35. Make sure I've allowed enough space to do my lines of working. And let's go for it. So you're going to multiply 283 by the units first. Three fives are 15. Carry my 10 over. Eight fives are 40. Add that one is 41. Let's carry that 40 over. Put it here. Five twos are 10. Add that four is... 14. So that's the units. Now the next thing you need to do is put your zero in underneath here, the place value holder. That's important. If you forget that, you're going to get it all wrong. 
Now we're going to go for three threes are nine. So I shall write that here. Eight threes are 24. So I'll put the four in here and carry the 20. And then I'm going to go for two threes are six. Add that to is eight. And then I'm done with this line. Last thing to do, simply add these up together. Five and zero is five. Nine and one is 10. So put my zero here and carry the 10 over. Four and four is eight. Add one is nine. And eight and one is nine. So I get 9,000. 905. Again, just like I showed you before, uh, when we're doing short multiplication, you can do exactly the same thing with decimals as long as you keep the decimal in the same place in the answer and you only have one of the numbers as a decimal. Let me do a couple of examples for that and then you are done with this. So if I do, let's do 18.3 times 21, okay? So notice that I've only used a decimal in one number. And as long as I put my decimal in the same place, going all the way down here, I'll be fine. Right, let's go for it. One's three is three. Three ones are three. Eight ones are eight. One's one is one. That line was nice and easy. Put my place value holder in here and let's go and do the other line. All right, so three twos are six, eight twos are 16. So I'll put the six in and carry my one. And then I'll go one times two is two, add that one is three. Add them together, three and zero is three. Eight and six is 14, put the four in, carry the one. One and six is seven, add that one is eight. Nothing to add to that three, so just bring it straight down and I'd have 384.3. It would have been exactly the same if the decimal point had been in this. I could have done 183 times 2.1 and as long as I keep it in the same, um, column it's absolutely fine or I could have put the decimal here and had 1.83. So there you go written method long multiplication essentially you're doing two rows of short multiplication don't forget the place value holder. All the best with that and see you again.